Hello everybody and happy Monday. This is April and I am stepping out of my comfort zone today to bring you a tutorial on how to layer HTV. This is a question that I that I get often is how do I layer my HTV vinyl? So I am using my Silhouette Studio software. So if you have a Cricut, um, the steps that I'm using may not be exact. I, I don't know, you know, Cricut and Silhouette, they use different vocabulary, different terminology, but they can do, they, they can pretty much do the same thing. I don't know anything that the Cricut can do that the Silhouette can't or vice versa. So using the Silhouette, I am working on a shirt and this is a poppy head. And because it has three different colors, and it's going to be an HTV, I need to make this, I need, I'm need. i going to have to do some layering. Um, and I'm using glitter. Now, if you're using EasyWeed, the smooth HTV, you can layer on top. However, it is it does make it thick and it makes it bulky. So whether I'm using EasyWeed or whether I'm using glitter, I try my best to use the method that I'm going to show you here because I think it, it gives just... A nicer finish there's it's not as bulky and so it doesn't feel as heavy so to do this like I said I'm gonna be layering this all in glitter and I've got three different colors I don't know if you can quite tell try to show you but the um, headband and the flowers are different the headband is gonna be a green color and the flowers are kind of a blue and I like whenever I'm working in my studio I do like to color things in because I want to have an idea of what it's going to look like even whenever I'm working on it. So, okay, so to begin, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to layer these three, see, three different pieces. You've got the headband and you have the flowers. So the first thing you want to do before you layer anything is you want to have your image exactly where it's going to be. You want to know, I need to know exactly where that headband's going to go and where the flowers are going to go. And so then, leaving them where they are, I'm going to make a, I'm going to duplicate, or you could do copy and paste, but if I duplicate, it just automatically creates another copy, and I'm going to move it to the side. And I'm going to do the same thing with the headband. So I'm going to duplicate that and move it to the side. So now my first piece that touches the glitter is the headband because the flowers go on top. I'm going to move those, but I'm leaving the headband right where it is. I'm not messing with that at all. And I'm going to select the poppy head and the headband. So as you can see, there's that small box around the poppy head and there's a small, well, there's a large box around the poppy head, but then there's that small box around the headband pieces that lets you know that they are both selected. And then, after you do that, you're going to go over here to your Modify. So this right here tells you to open the Modify window, and we're going to go down and click the Subtract button. And when you do, I don't know if you saw that it happened, but now the, the green piece from the headband is gone. And what that did was it cut the headband out of the poppy head. So that is why it was very important that you made that copy because the copy will, should fit right where the subtracted pieces were. And so now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our flowers. Sorry guys, it's, this is really difficult for me trying to maneuver a camera and and do the um, moving of the pieces. But so I put the flowers where I need them to be, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select it, go to my modify, which is already pulled up, and then click subtract. So there you go. So now the headband is subtracted out, the flowers are subtracted out, so that whenever I get ready to cut, I will be able to cut the three different pieces and whenever I press them on, they're going to actually touch the shirt instead of laying glitter on top of glitter. Now, just one more tip that I like to do, and again, I don't know how you would do this in the Cameo, I mean, I'm sorry, in the Cricut. I only know how to do it with the Cameo. But because I want these pieces to be just slightly larger so that they just barely overlap on the glitter on the poppy head, 
That way um, it keeps you from seeing the line between the poppy head and that, and you'll see little pieces of the shirt kind of sticking out. So to do that, I go up here to my offset tool. So I'm opening up my offset window, and then I'm gonna click on offset. And as you can see, it defaults to this, to point 0.125, and whenever you come back over here, can you see that, how big that offset is? We don't want it that big. So I'm gonna change my settings, and I'm just gonna offset it to 0, 1, 0. And that's just gonna give it a very tiny offset, make it just a little bit bigger than what it is. And whenever I click Apply, let me get back over here so you can see, whenever I click Apply, it makes it much smaller. So you can still see that little outline around it, but it is much smaller. So then I'm gonna move the original pieces away and I have to go back and group these three. I do a right click and group. There it is, a right click and group. And so now whenever I move them, they're all together. And again, I like to color mine, so I am going to recolor. I'm gonna use my little tool here so that I can choose that same color that I had it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the flowers. I'm gonna offset it my offset tool, the window, I'm clicking offset, not internal. Internal will offset it on the inside. And then I'm going to back it up and do zero, one, zero, and apply. And it does the same thing. So I have to move my original. I can't find my cursor, guys. There it is. Move my original, select and group so that these stay together. I do a right click and group, and then I'm going to color them back into the blue. So here are my pieces, and whenever I cut them out and put them together, they're going to be slightly offset. And look, as you can see, whenever I did the offsets, it put the flowers behind. Um, you, There is a tool down here that did you see that? I don't know. It's at the bottom and it's the little box. Oh, I can't get it to zoom. I can't get it to focus in on it. But there's a little box that whenever you hover over it, it's going to say bring to the front. So whatever you have selected, it will bring it to the front of the design. There it is. That's it. So see, bring to front. And so that's what it did. I had the flowers selected. I clicked bring to front and it brought it to the front of the design. So then after this, I just cut each separate piece, remembering to mirror your image or flip horizontally, do a little right click, flip horizontally, and then you wanna cut each piece. Now I have already done this, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So here's my poppy head. And as you can see, I did a this is a birthday shirt, so it has a number five with it, and I, I did do the subtracting on the number five as well. You can see that there, but just for um, the tutorial purposes, I did just the head for you guys. So I, this is how I would press it. I would put it on to see exactly where it needs to go, and then I would press the five first, and then I would come back and press the poppy head, and then my offset headband will go right here. Wow, you know what? I give props to people that do video tutorials because this is not as easy as they make it look. Okay, so the headband would go there, and then here you go. You would put your flowers on, and so the glitter overlaps a little, just a little, so that you don't have um, the shirt showing. And it will, I can't do this with one hand. I need two hands to overlap my glitter. Told you, not as easy as it looks. Seriously. Okay, so I think that's about it. Um, and so that, whenever you, you press one layer at a time, starting with the back layer, moving forward one layer at a time, and then you're done. So I hope that this gives you guys just a little help in layering. And I do this whenever I'm doing glitter, and I do this whenever I'm doing Easy Weed. Because like I said, it gets bulky, and I like it to be as smooth as I can get it. Um, and then I will add a picture of the final product 
in the comments. I've got to go and press it now. So thanks for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Let me know what you think. Um, if you would like more things like this, I don't know how often I'll do it. Like I said, this is not, this is very uncomfortable for me. I don't like hearing my voice. You notice I did not put my face on here. I don't like seeing myself in videos. So here, this, this is our very first tutorial on layering glitter HTV. Thanks for watching.